And we're back. I fucked up and I played through a little bit of the game without um, recording. So I had to quit back out and come back here to do it all again. So you talk to these guys and they're playing Monsters and Humans. And I don't remember what the slime said. But this dude wants to hear knocks. Uh, young again, world fit balance. And I still, I don't, I don't know what the hell is going on here. Has a very buff dog. Throwing ice cubes coming out of nowhere into the water. Repeatedly. And he just keeps doing it and I don't understand. But I don't think there's any explanation. And then I, there's no explanation for this either. Or like why there looks like a water wall out in the ocean. I guess? I don't know? But anyway, we have to go this way to continue the story. And it's gonna end up being the Papyrus fight, which I already know because I fucked up and did the whole thing before I looked up and went, ah, oh, fuck, I'm not recording. Awesome. It's a funny fight though, and the text before and after is funny, so I'm gonna do my best to not skip through. And I'll try to read every word, so I actually get through it. Because otherwise I will skip. So human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Anyway, uh, I'm going to try flirting with him again. So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make some, I want to see what this does. <laughs> Humility, it reminds me of myself. You're meeting all my standards. Let's date later after I capture you. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm just gonna go to sparing. He won't fight. And then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Because flirting doesn't do anything and insulting once he's like doing anything doesn't work. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I am blue now, that's my attack. I am blue now, 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 I am blue now. Hmm, I wonder what I should wear. I don't think I'll be able to do any better at this, but who knows. What? I'm not thinking about the date thing. I wonder if I didn't do the date, if the battle would progress faster. In hindsight, I kind of wish I hadn't done that. But whatever. That's marinara sauce? I did not read that. <laughs> Alright, spare. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Haha. 
dabs MTT brand Bishy Cream behind his ear. Spare! I can almost taste my future popularity. What? I wasn't moving. Whatever. MTT brand anime powder. Spare. Papyrus, head of the royal guard. You would think having done this fight already, I would be like better at it, but it's probably not gonna be the case. And Papyrus has MTT brand cute juice behind his ear. Spare. Unparalleled spaghettatori. Spaghettore? Oh, what the fuck he's talking about. Blue. Jump. Haha, -ha, that worked. <laughs> MTT brand attraction slime. Spare. I don't understand who Undyne is. Because Undyne is apparently not like the queen. Which I thought she was. Pepper Stebs MTT brand beauty yogurt behind his ear. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. His smile is creepy though. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. <laughs> Spare, my brother will, well, he won't change very much. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Spare, I'll have lots of admirers, but Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? I like that in sparing the monsters, they go through like a, uh, like a whole conflicting thought process. It smells like bones. <laughs> Someone like you is really rare. Oh shit. I didn't have my hand on the controller because I was scratching my chin. Papyrus is considering his options. Spare. And dating might be kind of hard. Uh, Papyrus is cackling. After you're captured and sent away. Jump, 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 jump. I need to... Oh! <laughs> Stop jumping the gun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I did that without fucking it up. It smells like bones. Spare. Ugh, who cares? Give up. Alright, Pepper's whispers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Spare. Give up or face my special attack. Honestly, his normal attacks are what fucked me up the most. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Spare. Yeah, very soon I will use my special attack. Alright, Papyrus is rattling his bones. Spare. Not too long and I will use that special attack. I actually cleared it? Huh. I thought I fucked that one up. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Spare. This is your last chance before my special attack. Fast. Okay. Papyrus prepares a non-bone attack and spends a minute fixing his mistake. What? Puppy! What the heck? That's my special attack. Hey, you stupid dog. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack. <laughs> oh well, I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Papyrus is getting ready for a regular attack. Hi, so, here's an absolutely normal attack. I thought I jumped it. Cool dude! 
If this is the part I think it is, I have no idea how you're supposed to like avoid it. <laughs> This bone scares the shit out of me. Even though it moves so slow, because I expect, like, I don't know, fire to come after it or something. <laughs> well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now is your chance to accept my mercy. Yeah, that was way easier the second time. Yoo -hoo -hoo. I can't even thought someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends, or what a loser. Let's be friends. Really, you want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. <laughs> that line just gets me. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you'll have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer. Can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> and then he walks through the water. Because fucking sense. This game is uh, something special. But I don't know how like how special or what way is special, but it's definitely special. And we're gonna go to the inn. One night stay. I wonder if they're gonna play a song again. They are. And I'm gonna pour more drink. So I wonder if I choose how long I stay up here. Nope. Okay. You look like you had a great sleep, which is incredible because you were only there for two minutes. Money back. Just... Now we're going to come over here and save. And then use the box. Yes. Take all that shit out. I'm going to sell back all the worthless shit. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, I can't sell shit then. I like that they gave you the option and then it's worthless. All right. So we're going to go back and talk to Papyrus then. See what he's got to say for anything. Is this still locked? Are we gonna go to Grillby's? Oh, is he taking me to his house? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that's so much dumber than I was expecting. <laughs> what the hell is. That's the kitchen. Wait, what? <laughs> oh my 
good. Holly built spaghetti. Their app contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. That's the trash can! Oven? <laughs> Filled with a sugary non-egg substance. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it? Wait, how does a sock have notes on it? <laughs> oh my god. Wait, wait, what? Why would you feed a pet rock? Uh, so he watches nothing? Okay. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. And another quantum physics book. Okay. <laughs> uh, not yet. I want to look at this. <laughs> Bones are what's important in life? Okay, so I've looked at everything except the couch. Huh. Oh, nice. I got 22 from the couch. Alright, I guess we'll go date the skeleton. I guess. Because that's not weird. <laughs> the internet, I'm quite popular there. <laughs> How are you a dozen away from a double digit follower count? Oh my god. Uh, why left? Confusing your browser and open to a social media site. What's outside? Clothes are hung up neatly inside. The book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. Peek a boot with Fluffy Bunny. <laughs> what? Who or what the hell is an Undyne? I don't know. Okay. Action figures, great reference for the theater. Theoretical battle scenarios. <laughs> Chubby smiling man who loves to something people. Santa. So, um, if you've seen everything. Sure, why not? Wait, what? <laughs> Can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. That is true. P A P R. I mean, that's it, but still. <laughs> An official dating rule book? Why do you have a dating rule book? Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating hub. Whoa. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm not ready for step two. I don't think I'll ever be ready for step two. So to ask them on a date. <laughs> Step three, put a nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second, wear clothing. Uh, uh sure, why not? <laughs> Your dating power. <laughs> what? 
Wait, what? What special clothes? Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. The state won't escalate any further unless you find my secret, but that won't happen. Um... Is it the shoes? Hats? <laughs> Open it. Uh, I have no idea. Wait, how do you have aged spaghetti? <laughs> no, wait, why is the blue bar still going? And why did it hit his face? God, this is ridiculous. Hi, Peppers. Hi, um... Boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me? <laughs> oh my god. Instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. Dark prison of passion. Don't escape. <laughs> what the hell? I don't even have lips. <laughs> what the fuck? That, okay. I'm glad I flirted with him then. Cause, uh... Jesus. <laughs> uh, alright then. Can I talk to Sans? No. Wait, where the hell did he go though? Why would he leave his own damn house? Wait, what's in here? Oh, nothing. It's just open. I don't. Okay. Wait, is this thing open now? No. Alright. We shall continue on with the journey. Wait, why is it still, like, cloudy? Uh oh. Because it just is. Alright. Alright, so I can't click on gems on the ground. <laughs> Hello. Are you a child also? Who? Undyne? Echo flower repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Oh, okay. Sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Yes. <laughs> sure. Let's go to girl base. Wait. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> All right. Okay, say hi to everyone. <laughs> Whoopee cushion. <laughs> uh, I want a burger. Is he using a pick on his skull? I'm pretty sure he was just using a pick on his skull. <laughs> Who wears it in the shower? I mean, I guess that's one way to, uh... Wash it. 
Okay, so I get his. I have to agree, Papyrus tries real hard. I like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. I say she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. You don't say. Uh, okay. Okay. Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. No one else is around. A flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Hmm. Okay. Flat broke for the bill. What? Ten bajillion fucking gold. <laughs> These guys are ridiculous. Alright, do I get to... No, I didn't even get to eat anything. Uh, now I have to walk all the way back. Actually, since we're here anyway. Let us see. Nothing up there. Are you still throwing? Yes. Alright. I wonder if he's throwing the ice in there to, like, quote-unquote, supply the capital or some shit. But in that case, it wouldn't really make sense, because by the time it got to the capital, it would be, like, melted. Because the only reason it's not melting here is because the water's cold, because it's, like, cold climate. But once you get down into warmer climates... I, okay. I'm going to save again, just in case. Uh, this is a box. I'm going to put an item in. Why would you, though? Can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Okay. Oops. Okay. Uh, so I can't walk down there. Echo flower. There's nowhere back here. Okay, yeah, so just walking and holding up would work. Haha! -ha! I found a camera. Wait, why is. Oh, the rocks don't hurt. That probably would have been a good test to do first. <laughs> Let me see if I can do. Haha! -ha! I don't know what the point of those is, but there's a tutu laying on the ground. Yes. Why would I not take a tutu? Aha. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, that's a cool effect. Uh, so there's papyrus. Oh no. Regarding that human I called you about earlier, huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. Fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself, but Undyne, you don't have to destroy them, you see, you see. Wait, so, is he on the phone with Undyne, or is Undyne, like, right there, right above me? I'm confused. I'll help you in any way I can. Alright. Uh-oh. I want to move. But I feel like I shouldn't. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I 
Oh my god. Whoa, that was a cool animation. Okay, continue. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Okay. Why four? Or is it just like the gaps are only ever going to be four across? I don't know. Oh, hello. <laughs> really? <laughs> ah, they get so fast. Okay, I much prefer like raindrops. Ready for my flicks. <laughs> How do you flex yourself out of the room? Alright, so... I want to know what that says. And I don't know if all four of them have to... Eh, fuck they do. Okay. Bell Blossom called the bridge seats back to where they started. Okay, so how do I, like... Oh, uh, that's how. I was like, how do I get four across there to read the sign? Because, uh... It's only a space of two. Congratulations, you failed the puzzle. <laughs> awesome. Alright, um... One, two, three, and four. There we go. Is there anything behind there? No. Hello, Papyrus. How did I get this number? Oh my god. <laughs> Papyrus is insane. <laughs> what are you wearing? Uh, I don't know if I'm wearing a bandana, but I think I am. Why is he winking? Am I wearing a bandana? I am wearing a bandana. <laughs> okay, what do you have to say? A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. Hoped with all your heart your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Huh. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Uh, what? Uh, clean? Is that a washing machine? Monster? Okay. Yes. Oh, look. Check wall. Hmm. Okay. I don't know what wall I'm supposed to check. Oh, that wall. Okay. Uh, what do you say? Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make up the words. The war of humans and monsters. Nothing there. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the sour power of a single human soul. Really? Huh. <clears throat> but humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. 
This power allows it to persist outside the human body even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. Monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. So that's what the king is trying to do then, kind of. Either the king or Undyne, I don't know which. One of the two. Uh oh. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. No. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so getting hit is really bad. Ha ha! Fuck. Ugh. <laughs> nope. Nice try. Nope. I'm out. I'm out. Oh Jesus, they're still coming. I don't know. Oh, it stopped me. Okay. I shouldn't be there though. Yep, found the kid. Wait, why did it not thud on the way out? Where's that poor child? Oh, there it is. It's fine. <laughs> Undyne just touched me! Ah! <laughs> I love the animation of that kid as he runs off. This is a very good animation. Alright, this cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Oh, this poor mouse. Squeak. <laughs> ah, right. Uh, knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the magical crystal you with determination. Um, that will be the stopping point for now. I will continue from here on and we will see how the end of uh, the Undertale goes at some point. So I hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you guys next time.